go. Hey, this is William Andres Guillermo de Chontales de Montañas oh de Colinas. God, that's, that's really long. Really? Well, my parents named me that name, so I thought that maybe more people would. But you should give them something shorter. Okay, well, I'll give you my shorter name then. My shorter name is Memo, like Elmo, but Memo. Oh, I like that. Yeah. My name is Cara Andrade, and we are here today at the Maynard Institute in Oakland, California, and we're really excited to be here because yeah. we're going to be talking to you about online tools for journalists, and they're all free, and uh, just kind of walk you through the process mm -hmm. of, like, you know, using these tools. The first tool at the top of our list is Google Documents, who, you know, we were turned on by Memo. And I was turned on by a filmmaker I was working for during the summer, and it turned out he was using Google Documents. And from there, I asked him, and it turned out I was turned on by Google Documents. <laughs> and so we are going to walk you through Google Documents. We've been using it. We've had some of our columnists file their copy into Google Docs, and some editors you know, working with their, their copy, and copy editors going in and doing some copy editing. And, and just it's, we've been using it as our content management system. So we wanted to you know, show you how it, it goes. It, it seems more complicated than it actually is. So we're going to show you how easy it is. It's as easy as checking your email. So just stick around. This is Google Documents. To access Google Documents, you will need a Google account. If you don't have one, you can easily create one. Today, we'll be logging in with the Maynard Institute's account. As you can see, the layout is very similar to that of Gmail. On the left side, you can create folders to organize your various documents, spreadsheets, and presentations. Here, um, you can create Google Documents, Google Spreadsheets, Google Presentations within Google Docs, or if you already have files, um, such as, let's say, Microsoft Word, some kind of document, spreadsheet, or presentation, you can upload these into Google Docs and share them with other people. Let's go to one of our folders titled Columns A through Z Technology Section. Here we have one of our columnists, Julio. He's posted up his column, and he's sharing it with one of our editors. As you can see, the editor has added in a few comments and added in a few links. The nice part about this program is any edits and any revisions that are made occur in real time. So for instance, if I were to delete the sentence, add a word to the sentence, or make any revision, everyone who has access to this document is able to see my changes as I type them. Let's go to this one tab titled Revisions. This is another nice feature about Google Docs. Google Docs saves every change that has been made in your document. So for instance, um, let's see, here we have, if it tracks everything by date, so the changes that were made seven days ago, and it tells you who's made the changes, and it goes back in time, and it also tells you um, what changes has been made. You can go back to when those changes were made, so let's go back to editing. It's another portion, another tab here is the share tab, so you can share your documents with other people, invite people as collaborators where they're able to add to your document and view it, or you can just invite people as viewers where they're only able to view your document without making any changes. So this is just a preview of how you might be able to use Google Documents in journalism.